this video will take you through how to create a diamond shaped crystal. Create a new part file. Enter the name of the file. Cancel the inches template. Click on OK. In the new file option, select millimeter as a unit. Click on OK. Switch on the datum planes. Create a blend. Insert Blend Protrusion. In the menu manager, ensure that the blend is parallel. Pick on Done. The blend need to be straight to have the sharp corners. Pick on Done. Select a sketching plane. Use the top plane. Reverse the direction of extrusion. Flip. OK. Default. Import a section. Use palette. Under the palettes, use a polygon option that is nonagon. Place the sketch outside. Position the sketch to the desired location. Pick on Done and close the sketcher palette. Delete the default dimension given. Observe the start point of the section. Enter the radius of this particular section to be 30. Create one more section. But before that, we need to toggle the existing section. Right click, toggle section. Create one more sketch. Polygon, Nonagon, place the sketch, complete the definition, close the sketch palette, delete the default dimension, enter the diameter value. Proceed for the next section. Before that, toggle the current section. Right click, toggle. Insert a point. Complete the section. Enter the depth value between two nonagons. Enter the value between the second drawn nonagon and a point. Pick on Preview. Pick on Default Orientation. This is a crystal, a diamond shaped crystal created. Apply the desired color. View, Color and Appearance. Choose the color. Apply. Pick on Close. This is a diamond shaped crystal. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel below.